Now, morning to you. <laughs> Tell us what your day-to-day -day, um, looks like living on board a cruise ship. Uh, good morning. So I actually used to be cruise director on a cruise ship, uh, but now I live on a cruise ship with my husband. Uh, my day in the life is waking up when I'd like to <laughs> and going up and getting breakfast that is made for me and coming back and my bed is made and it's wonderful. <laughs> I mean, all those little bits and pieces, the luxuries of it all. I mean, how can people afford to do it, though, full time? Right. So my situation is a bit different. Like I said, I used to be the cruise director on the ship and uh, now I do content creation. My husband, though, is staff chief engineer. So I actually live on board the ship with him. But with living on the ship, I have met people from all over the world and lots of people from Australia that live on the ship, whether they're retirees or whether they're single and they're just wanting a safe way to travel or whether they're just uh, living on the, on the ship and working remotely. What's the best part? Not doing my laundry. <laughs> 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 and uh, not, I, you know, not paying for not paying for food is, is very nice for me. But, you know, when you uh, book a cruise, you know, people think it's it's not affordable. You know, they have Alaska coming up and you Australians love mm. to come to Alaska. Mm. And the cruises, you know, started like only a four or five hundred dollars for seven days. And that includes your food. So take us through the best places, I guess, to live when you are on the ship. Where's your favourite place? Uh, well, obviously I have my cabin, but my cabin is just my room. And then the whole cruise ship is like my house. And I just love going up and reading a book and just, just watching the ocean. And you see so much wildlife as well. But are there downsides? Is there anything you get sick of, Christine? Well, you know, after a while, you do crave land food. You know, I am, uh, you know, I am from the United States. I love my Mickey D's, my McDonald's. <laughs> um, but, you know, you do crave that land food. Um, but you, you do, you know, miss family. And that's why I'm home in Iowa right now, visiting them for a couple of weeks. Um, but otherwise, it's, just, it's a great way of living. And I love waking up in a new place every single day. Well, Christine, we're looking at some of the images of you on board the ship and on the balcony and looking out. What's the most breathtaking thing that you've come across? Australia. Really? <laughs> Are you just sad? You're lying. Lying. I, I, I love you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but no, you know, uh, let's talk about Australia. When we cruise in and passing um, the Opera House, I mean, that is a picture every single person wants. But then we have Alaska coming up. And Alaska, you cruise seven days and you never get bored because you look out your window and you see free, just free views of whales and eagles and glaciers. Wow. And it's just beautiful. How long do you think you can keep doing this? Well, hopefully for quite a while. Um, my plan, my game plan is for at least another five to 10 years. Whoa, I'll, be wow. in, I'll be in Alaska as well this summer um, in Juneau and Ketchikan. I've got a, a jewelry coming out in those places at Dune Jewelry, and uh, I think I'll be doing it for another five to ten years. Jeez. Well, we'll have to catch up with you over the next couple of years yeah. to give us more adventure <laughs> stories. Uh, Christine, thanks for sharing it yeah. with us. Thank you.